In this video we want to implement a list view with some animations and what you can see here is some shake animation. So it's like a cool crazy animation which you can put inside of your app. The first thing what we want to build is the design and this is pretty simple. It's a card with some image at the top and some text at the bottom. And therefore I have created here this card widget where I put here all the information inside, title, description, the URL of the image and the subtitle and also color. And now we want to build this widget which you saw before. And first of all I will add here some padding to a container. And inside of it we want to create a card because this is what you were seeing there, a card. And then we want to create a column where we want first of all to show the image and then the text below. So I create here first of all this image in an expanded mode. And this is pretty simple. We create here this image.asset, put our URL image inside and we also put here some width. So we want to expand it to the whole width of the widget which we get. And then we also put here a cover inside and then under our image we want to build the text and this is also pretty simple. We create here a container with some padding and a color and inside of it we have a column to show multiple things under each other. So first of all we want to show the text, the title text and we make it in bold. Then we want to show the subtitle, we make it in italic, so it's italic and then we have some space between and then we have here the description. Now to test this design out we go back to our my homepage and here inside we see this design which we have currently. And now here inside of this body property we want to add this card widget which we have created. But first of all we want to get some data so I go here to this data class where I have all the data of our cards. So we have here some URL image, I pointed to some assets which we have inserted here and then you have here some images about the different designs which we use. And then we add here this card widget and we put all the information of our card data here inside. And now if I hot reload you see already the first card and we can go back to our card widget. And if you look here at this example what I have created before then you see we are pretty close but we should change a bit about it. So here inside I will also add some clip behavior and some shape. And if I add the shape then we have here already this different kind of look. And now if you compare it, it looks much better already. But we will also later change that this here takes less space. So we are done right now with this widget. However we will later change it if we have here also this scrolling bar to the right and to the left. So the next step is to go back to our home page and here we want to add this scrolling bar. And here inside we first of all exchange here this card widget to a container and inside of it we have some padding to all sides and then we create here this page view builder with which it is later possible to slide between the different items we have. And here inside we first of all need to add this item count so we take all of our cards and get here the length property. Then we add here this item builder and here we want to create these individual items and put it here into our item builder and then we take this card from this index and we create here this card widget again what we did before and we simply return it here. And if we hot reload you see that we have here our other cards and this is mainly done with this page view builder. The next step is to add here this current index at the beginning and we also want to add a page controller and here we want to limit the view fraction. So we want that we can see the cards on the right and on the left side. And then we simply put here into our page view this controller inside. And now after I have hot restarted this application you see here that we have the items also on the left and on the right side. And now we also want to call here this on page changed. So we want to see every time if the page changed then we want to store it in our current index variable here at the top. And if we go right now here to the left side you see that we cannot scroll further. And the same is also about the right side. If I go here to the right side we cannot scroll further. And therefore I want to add here this physics bouncing scroll physics. And now if I hot reload you will see that I can also bounce here. And this is 
a cool effect, especially if we want to later check here our widgets. And now you see also that we have here some limited views, so we have here some padding and therefore we don't see here this left side and the right side. If you don't like this effect, you can also take this padding here away and put it here directly around the card widget. And then you can have, for example, something like this. So you see the cards here also on the left side, but don't have here this left blue color. And I will change it here back to this padding here around the page view builder. So we have here always these sides, but I think this is okay. And if we compare it right now to this application, you see that we only need to add here this bouncing. And this is what we want to do right now. And for the bouncing effect, we want to use the Flutter animator packet. With this one, you can create animations and I want to use it here for, and I think we just get started. And by the way, if you want to check out the source code, you can do it with the first link in the description. And with the second link in the description, you get my Flutter course to become a super efficient Flutter developer. And here at our item builder, we want to add this shake animation. So I will check here first of all, if our current index is the index which is currently displayed on the screen, then we want to show a left right shake. And that's what we want to create this class right now. And here inside of this new file custom shake, I create a shake animation file, which extends from the animation definition. And this is basically from this plugin, which we have put inside. Then we get here this build method where we get a context, an animator and a child. And this is basically from this animation definition class. And now we need to implement it. So first of all, I create here this animated builder. And then we put here our animation inside, which we get here from our animator. So from this animation definition class, we already get here this animation controller. And then we put here our child inside. Then we want to create here with the builder this animation, how it should look like. And therefore we use here this transform widget with which you can transform your widgets, which means you can change, for example, the X coordinate, the Y coordinate, the set coordinate of this widget. You can rotate this widget and you can do many things. You can scale it and so on. So this is a really powerful widget. And here we basically want only to change the X coordinate. So we want to change the X coordinate of our widget. So it will shake to the left or to the right side. And here we simply take our animator and later we will define here these values which we get here. So they will always change depending on this animator controller, how it animates. And we also add here some alignment and then we want to add the definition. So here we can decide how this animation should look like. And then we return here this translate X, which is exactly this one, which is going here inside later. And here then we define the values which the animation controller later plays. And here, first of all, we put a percentage of zero and 100. So this is our start and this is our end of the animation. And we want to be like in the X every time, like in the origin position. And therefore we put your origin inside and later between we want to change here the values. And therefore I create here two new fields. So first of all, at 20% of the animation, we want to have here different value in the X coordinate and at 80%, we also want to have a different value. And these values we will add here at the top right now. So I add here first and second and also first and second here in this constructor. And now we can every time define it here from the outside world, how our animation should shake. So we define how the X coordinate should change over time and First, it will change here after 20% to the first variable and after 80% of the animation, it changes to the second variable, which we put here inside. And now we create here this real widget because this is only the animation definition. And then we create here this left right shake and it extends also from this animator widget. And here we put our widget inside, which should shake. And you can also put here some preferences later inside. And then we simply call here the super method of the animator widget. We put our child inside and also a definition. And here we put this shake animation inside, which we have created before. And then you can also define here the first and second parameter. 
and we say here it should go first minus five pixels to the left and then five pixels to the right and this will then have a shaky animation so it goes first to the left and then to the right. Now we can go to the home page and implement this left right shake so I will simply import it and now if I every time hot restart this application you will see that it is shaking and every time I go here also to a new index it will every time shake and only the middle item will shake right now because this is our current index and therefore we also want to add here later a shake to the left and to the right. And now we also want to add the animation to the left and right part. So here inside we have this else case and here inside we add to this the right left shake and these animations will then go to the left and right card every time. And therefore we go here back to our custom shake and here next to our left right shake we will add another shake and this time this is exactly a copy of this one only what we are changing here is the first value and the second value so in this case what is happening here is that this here at the right will first of all shake to the right to 8 pixels and then it goes to the left minus 2 and yeah this is also how this animation here will be played on the left side and now we can try this out so I can restart this application and every time now also hear this on the left and on the right side they will also animate like you can see. And now we have here every time this shaky animation and I think it looks pretty cool for your application and it is something different and I think maybe you can use it. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter and see you soon, bye!